Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. Happy, happy Wednesday to you guys. I hope everyone is having an amazing day thus far. It is early this morning, you guys, and I am in here designing, just getting back from working out this morning and trying to keep my day at a steady pace. I'm going to go ahead and start working on some baskets. And I was like, let me bring you guys along. I started to go live, which I may go live a little bit later on today. Um, but right now, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys these two concepts. I'm going to actually do three baskets in this video if it doesn't take too long. If it does, then I'll um, just do, because um, two of them are going to be just alike. So if it gets to getting too timey, then I will... Um, just do two, okay? Because if you've seen one and I'm doing two of them, you've seen the other one, okay? So let's get started with the foundation of our basket, you guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I hate baskets with holes in it or the wire baskets like we got yesterday. And I know y'all like, how you hate those baskets, but you got tons and tons of them? Because, baby, I'm going to use them. Something about 50 cent will make you like it, okay? Whether you like it or not, if it only costs 50 cent. Oh, baby, we're going to work with it, okay? So, anyway, the first thing you want to do is build the foundation the same way that you would build it for any other basket. But the thing is, you have to be mindful um, of what you're using to go in the bottom because it's going to be seen, okay? Again, if you are new to gift basket designing, you do not want to just go in and start putting shred. For one thing, it's a waste of money. And the second thing, shred is not a steady foundation. A sturdy foundation is not going to give your items anything to level up on, okay? So make sure that you are not doing that if you are new. Or, hey, you may not be new, but you may be still doing it. So go ahead and get you some newspaper or whatever kind of paper you use. I get newspaper for free. So this is what I use, because free is always better, okay? I'm just gonna use a half of the sheet for this. I think I might need a little bit more paper, but maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I think that'll work. And we're gonna be using this Blackhead and Ingrown Hair Extractor set. I got this from Dollar Tree, uh, mm, I don't know, maybe the, might have been during Christmas, I don't know, honey. Anyway, I haven't seen any in the store recently. Um, this is a three-pack bond set that I got um, some time ago at Dollar General. Y'all, I know we be telling y'all when we got stuff, but in reality, it really doesn't matter if it's something not in the store right now. So sometimes you may hear me tell you and then sometimes I may not because, um, I mean, it's not in the store now unless it's in there. Um, you know, it may be back in the store. I don't know. So um, sometimes I tell where I got stuff from. I mean, when I got stuff and then sometimes I don't. This is um, some soap from Hobby, not Hobby Lobby. What's the name of that place? Pop Shelf. Pop Shelf. And if the items that I use, you don't have them, you can just use something simple. These are going to be some of my um, smaller, inexpensive um, baskets. And right now, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do the layout. So you'll see me kind of moving things around and shifting them and all of that. Because this right here, I want it to uh, kind of sit up or maybe slant to the side sometimes i would do things at an angle just so that you can see it because i mean i can prop it up even a little bit more let's see let's prop it up a little bit more and see if i want to do it straight or if i want to see it's still uh or unless we do that and then it's going to cover that up. so we're just going to kind of do it to the side so that you'll be able to see it okay so sometimes i you'll see me putting my items at a 45 degree angle just so that you can see what it is okay it just depends on what type of basket it is and the item that i'm using okay 
I could put this on a skewer to stand it up a little bit higher, but y'all, these are inexpensive baskets. And when you are doing baskets, well, any any of them really, you don't want to spend a whole, whole lot of time on them because time is money and money is time. Um, of course, your bigger, more expensive baskets, you may do a little bit more um, with the mechanics of the basket. Um, but in the mechanics is just kind of like the buildup of the basket, like whether you're using skewers or you're using um, different things to um, hold the items into place. You don't want to get into too much because these are baskets that you will not be making a whole, whole lot of money on. Okay, so keep that in mind. Don't spend a whole lot of time on baskets that's not going to be profiting you much money. Okay. Y'all know we have done these in time past um, with the bath cloth. Sometimes I do them straight. Sometimes I do them like this. It just depends. This time I'm going to be doing it like this because it's taking up more space. <laughs> more space in the basket and that's what we need. I got to get some more of the burlap um, twine that I use. Um, I really like that. And I actually have some here. I just don't know where it is. Sad to say. Say it, but not say it, okay? Comes with the territory. I be having it in all different places. I need to find a stationary place to keep that in. I need to, I normally keep it with my scissors and all, but I don't know, since um, Mother's Day, I haven't kind of like re regrouped with, um, you know, organizing my stuff. It got all out of whack after Mother's Day. And although I've cleaned up, one of my rooms are still not um, up to par where it needs to be. And I know that that's exactly where um, that twine is. So once I get in there and get that room a little bit more organized, I'll find it. But meanwhile, I need to buy some more. Because I use this. I got this from Dollar Tree actually to tie my... Um, <laughs> They help with my tent, but honey, I've been using it for different little things. And I'm still gonna need like one more item in this basket. Basket, basket. I don't know what I could do. Maybe just put some socks right there. I think that's what we'll do. Put some socks. And I'm definitely not gonna leave that ribbon up there because I don't like it. So I think I got some little black and white ribbon. We'll put that around there. I'm gonna put some socks in that hole. I'm gonna put some socks there. See what I turn looking like. We looking okay. Okay. at a 45 degree angle. taking it in several different places just to kind of help hold it at that angle. Remember, we 
saving that hole right there for the salt. Go ahead and get my black and white red. I had some socks handy, but I don't. I gotta go in my other stock pile room and get those. So you guys won't see that on this video. I forgot what holiday we did these and it put me in the mind of a butterfly. But hey, now it's Father's Day. We're going to say it's the mind of a bow tie. <laughs> Ain't it somehow you can do the same uh, the same thing and it look like different things. We're going to make it look like it anyway or say it look like it. But yeah, I think it was, it was Valentine's Day or maybe it was Christmas that I did um, this little fan method. I was like, mm, it looked like a little butterfly. But now, baby, we're going to say it looked like a bow tie. <laughs> it don't look like what we need it to look like. And like I said, I'm just spreading that out so that it'll... Um, Take up a little bit more space in the basket. I'm gonna sit this up a little more. Should have put a little bit more newspaper up in there, but it's all good in the hood. All right, so y'all see how it looks with the um with the ribbon versus that other stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and put some um, shred right in there. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put the shred in there. Now you see why you only use shred to fill because um, when you do that, you only use a little bit and a whole bag will go a long ways. If you're using a whole bag on one um, basket, unless you're just intentionally doing that, then more than likely you're using too much. Um, you're using too much shred. You either don't have enough items in your basket and you're trying to use that to fill in holes or something, but you really should only use this whole bag. You say only use a little bitty portion of that shred, okay? about the back of the basket. It just depends on how it looks and what's in it. So just a little bit. A little bit goes a long ways. Again, we're gonna stick our socks right there and we're gonna call it John. Um, Let's see, it's getting long, so I'm not gonna do this other one, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, okay? So, um, I got a bunch of these last year from uh, Pop Shelf, a bunch, a bunch. Or did this one come from Dollar General? I don't know, this one might've came from Dollar General. Cause you know, Dollar General and Pop Shelf are sister stores, but I think this particular one I got from Pop Shelf, I mean from Dollar General. 
So what I'm gonna do is, cause I have tons of different ceramic planters um, to go ahead and get them in rotation and get them out the door. I'm gonna actually like just glue the bottom of it. Of course, I'm gonna take the tag off, but we're gonna glue the bottom of the legs down and then we're just gonna come and sit it on top of this cone instant burner. I paid $2 for this. Gosh, I know it's been well over a year ago I got these. I had so many of them. And I had plans for them that didn't work out. So I just ended up putting them in baskets. Um, so I'm going to do that. I don't know all of what I'm going to put in here. But I'm going to put the gift in here. I've already created several of these. I can't remember if I did a... I think I did do a video on these. But I'm just going to put just random items in here. Small, simple items. These are the baskets or the little concepts where I'm opening up these packs and using maybe two or three items in each one. Maybe mix a bath cloth, maybe do a loofah. It just depends on um, once I get designing how much room I have in here and what I want to do. But these are just like little small gifts that you don't have to do a whole lot of thinking to. You can put something like that, a power stick in there. You know? We might do that, put a power stick, and then I might put maybe a um, a razor or something in there. I don't know. We're going to keep it really simple. Keep it simple, saints. Okay? Kiss. So anyway, y'all, that's what this is. I'm going to come back and do a video probably today or tomorrow to show you guys um, the baskets that I have made up, what I have made up. And the question has come up several times, like um, how many baskets am I designing? As always, for every holiday, I set a goal, but at the end of the day, I just work. You know, I just work until I'm tired. Um, so with the Father's Day baskets, if I end up with 100, so be it. If I end up, I know I ain't probably going to have no 200 because at the rate I'm working, baby, there ain't no way. Um, I'm just kind of taking a slow, steady pace with Father's Day. Um, I'm not setting a, 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 a small amount. I'm Like I said, I'm just working until I can't work no more in the midst of me shopping and cleaning and running my other parts of my life i'm just designing what i can um and hopefully i wish i could get up to 200 um not to say that i would sell 200 not to say that i won't but i can promise you what would be great if i could get a whole lot of them done and let's just say i didn't sell them then guess what i got a jump start for christmas i got a jump start for um valentine's because as you can see the way that I designed, there's nothing tailored to any specific holiday. So, honey, it's a win-win across the board for me, okay? What they say, winner, 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 chicken dinner. It's a winner for me all the way across the board because I designed so many gifts for other holidays that this is just going to give me a jump start. All right? So, anyway, y'all, I know I could have put some heat up there and just took that right off, but I don't know. I just think I love wasting time taking stickers off, I think. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye, y'all.